who is sworn in as the new president of Nigeria on May 29, 2023. ANS. Bola Q2. What was the unemployment rate in urban areas during the January to March 2023 quarter? ANS. 6.8%. Q3. What indicator showed a decline in formal sector employment in recent months? ANS. Employees Provident Fund Organization, EPFO, data. Q4. What does the labor force participation rate, LFPR, measure? ANS. The percentage of individuals in the population who are in the labor force. Q5. Which denominations accounted for the highest share of banknotes in circulation in terms of volume as of March 31, 2023? ANS. 500 rupees. Q6. What does the RBI annual report for FY23 reveal about the circulation of counterfeit currency in India? ANS. None of the above. Q7. What was the general government deficit as a percentage of GDP in 2022-23, according to the RBI annual report? ANS. 9.4%. Q8. What was the government debt as a percentage of GDP in 2022-23, according to the RBI annual report? ANS. 86.5%. Q9. Who has Equitas Small Finance Bank collaborated with to build a digital banking platform? ANS. IBM Consulting. Q10. Praveen Kumar Srivastava, a retired 1988 batch Indian Administrative Service Officer of the Assam Meghalaya Kadri, has been officially sworn in as the Central Vigilance Commissioner. Who administered the oath of office to Praveen Kumar Srivastava as the Central Vigilance Commissioner? ANS. President Drupadi Murmu. Q11. The Central Vigilance Commission, CVC, is responsible for. ANS. Ensuring transparency and integrity in public administration. Q12. What is the theme of the 14th Clean Energy Ministerial and 8th Mission Innovation Meeting? ANS. Advancing Clean Energy Together. Q13. Which government ministry launched the website and logo for the GEM 14 MI8 meetings? ANS. Ministry of Power. Q14. Who has been appointed as the 28th Chief Justice of the Himachal Pradesh High Court? ANS. Justice Mamadana Satya Ratna Sri Ramachandra Rao. Q15. Which state emerged as the top performer among the larger states in the Nidhi Aayog's annual health index for the COVID year of 2020-21? ANS. Kerala. Q16. Which country is hosting the BRICS foreign ministers meeting in Cape Town, as of May 2023? ANS. South Africa. Q17. Where is the India-EU Connectivity Conference scheduled to be inaugurated? ANS. Meghalaya. Q18. The Indian government has recently approved a groundbreaking scheme worth 1 lakh rupees crore aimed at significantly expanding the food grain storage capacity in the cooperative sector. How much will the storage capacity expand in the next five years under the approved scheme? ANS. 2,150 lakh tons. Q19. What percentage of India's food grains production can the existing godowns store? ANS. 47%. Q20. What was the fiscal deficit target for the financial year 2022-23? ANS. 6.4% of GDP. Q21. When was the new development bank, NDB, established by BRICS countries? ANS. 2014. Q22. Which subset of EU member states uses the euro as their official currency? ANS. Eurozone. Q23. What is the fiscal glide path outlined by Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman? ANS. Reduce fiscal deficit to 4.5% of GDP by 2025-26. Q24. What was India's GDP growth rate in the January-March quarter of 2022-23? ANS. 6.1%. 
Q25. The Indian government has announced its intention to sell up to a 3% stake in Coal India Limited through the offer for sale OFS route, according to a recent regulatory filing. What is the green shoe option in the context of the stake sale in Coal India? ANS. An option for investors to acquire additional shares. Q26. What are the factors contributing to the fiscal deficit? ANS. All of the above. Q27. Who did Razorpay partner with to launch? Turbo UPI. ANS. National Payments Corporation of India NPCI and Axis Bank. Q28. What? Were the peak levels of the general government deficit and debt in 2020-21, as mentioned in the RBI annual report? ANS. 13.1% and 89.4% of GDP. Q29. Which government ministry launched the website and logo for the GEM 14 MI8 meetings? ANS. Ministry of Power. Q30. What distinguishes Razorpay's, Turbo UPI, from Paytm's UPI SDK? ANS. Turbo UPI provides insights into drop-off patterns, whereas Paytm's UPI SDK does not. Q31. India's higher-than-expected GDP growth in Q4 FY23, along with the upward revision of the FY23 growth forecast to 7.2%, highlights the resilience and promising trajectory of the Indian economy amidst global challenges. Which sectors contributed to the higher-than-expected GDP growth in Q4 FY23? ANS. Manufacturing and Construction. Q32. India's economy showcased remarkable resilience as it recorded a higher than expected growth rate of 6.1% in the fourth quarter Q4 of FY23, surpassing analysts' predictions. Which factor remained the weakest link in India's economic recovery? ANS. Private spending. Q33. According to J.P. Morgan, what is the revised forecast for India's annual growth rate for fiscal year 2024? ANS. 5.5%. Q34. The Ministry of Finance announced that the GST revenue for May 2023 stood at 1.57 lakh rupees crore. What was the percentage increase in GST revenue collection for May 2023 compared to May 2022? ANS. 12%. Q35. Unified Payment Interface, UPI, transactions in India soared to unprecedented levels in May 2023, with a total transaction value of 14.3 trillion rupees and a volume of 9.41 billion. This represents a 2% increase in value and a 6% increase in volume compared to the previous month of April. How did EPS transactions perform in May 2023 compared to April 2023? ANS. Volume increased, value decreased. Q36. Which component of GST recorded the highest collection in May 2023? ANS. IGST. Q37. The 1972 reservation policy in Meghalaya allocated 40% of reserved jobs to the Garo tribe and 40% to the Kasi Jaintia tribes. What percentage of reserved jobs were allocated to the general category candidates under the 1972 reservation policy in Meghalaya? ANS. 15%. Q38. How many consecutive months has the monthly GST mop-up exceeded the 1.4 lakh rupees crore mark? ANS. 14 months. Q39. The Minister for Housing and Urban Affairs, Hardeep Singh Puri, recently praised the Prime Minister Street Vendors Admanurbar Nidhi PM Sanidi scheme on its momentous completion of three years. Who is the technical partner for the implementation of the PM Svanidi scheme? ANS. Small Industries Development Bank of India, SIDBI. Q40. Apart from a global economic slowdown, what other factor did JP? Morgan caution could impact India's economy. ANS. Tighter financial conditions. Q41. What is the interest subsidy provided under the PM Svanidi scheme? ANS. 7% per annum. Q42. 
Latvian lawmakers picked the country's long-serving and popular foreign minister, a strong backer of Ukraine, as its new head of state in a tight vote. Who has been elected as the new head of state in Latvia? Ans. Edgars Rinkviks. Q43. Who is the new chairman and managing director of Steel Authority of India Limited, Sale? Ans. Amarendu Prakash. Q44. The City Investments to Innovate, Integrate, and Sustain 2.0 CITIIS 2.0 program has been approved by the Union Cabinet, led by Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi. What is the funding source for CITIIS 2.0? ANS. Loan from the French Development Agency AFD and Creditanstalt fur Wiederaufbau KFW. Q45. Telangana Formation Day observed annually on June 2 since 2014, is a state public holiday in Telangana, India. It marks the commemoration of the formation of the state of Telangana. Since which year has Telangana Formation Day been observed? ANS. 2014. Q46. In a setback for North Korea's space ambitions, the country's first attempt at launching a military spy satellite ended in failure. Which body of water did the carrier rocket crash into? ANS. Yellow Sea. Q47. Which city emerged as the top destination for foreign direct investment, FDI, from India in 2022? ANS. Dubai. Q48. The triple train crash involving Karamandal Express and two other trains has resulted in a significant loss of life and injuries. Where did the triple train crash take place? ANS. Balasor, Odisha. Q49. Who recently held the third maritime security dialogue in New Delhi? ANS. India and Vietnam. Q50. What is the purpose of the RBI's 100 Days 100 Pays campaign? ANS. To reduce the quantum of unclaimed deposits. Q51. Which ministry is the nodal department for implementing the Gobardan scheme? ANS. Ministry of Jal Shakti. Q52. Which bank currently holds the highest value of unclaimed deposits? ANS. State Bank of India, SBI. Q53. What is the purpose of the Unified Registration Portal launched under the Gobardan scheme? ANS. Assess investment and participation in the biogas CBG sector. Q54. Where are unclaimed deposits transferred by banks? ANS. Depositor Education and Awareness DIA Fund. Q55. Who has been appointed as the first female Secretary General of the World Meteorological Organization, WMO? ANS. Celeste Salo. Q56. Where is the headquarters of the World Meteorological Organization, WMO, located? ANS. Geneva, Switzerland. Q57. World Bicycle Day is an annual event celebrated on June 3rd Road. It was established by the United Nations General Assembly in 2018 to recognize the bicycle as a simple, affordable, reliable, clean, and environmentally fit sustainable means of transport. What is the theme for this year's World Bicycle Day? ANS. Riding Together for a Sustainable Future. Q58. The PM Kizan Scheme also known as Pradhan Mantri Kisan Salmon Nidhi Yojana, is an initiative of the Government of India launched in February 2019. The scheme seeks to provide income support of 6,000 rupees per year in three equal installments. What is the primary objective of the PM Kisan scheme? ANS. To provide direct income support to small and marginal farmers. Q59. Who became the first female cadet in India to complete the advanced mountaineering course in the Himalayan area of Uttarakhand? ANS. Shalini Singh. Q60. The goods and services tax, GST, revenue collection for May has witnessed a significant increase, marking the 15th consecutive month that the monthly collection has exceeded the 1.4 lakh rupees crore milestone. Which state recorded a negative growth rate in GST revenue collection for May 2023? ANS. Punjab. Q61. What was the reason behind the monetary penalty imposed on Indian Overseas Bank, IOB, by the RBI? 
ANS, failure to transfer a minimum mandatory sum to its reserve fund. Q62. What will a committee formed by ERTA oversee in relation to the takeover, as of June 2023? ANS. Transfer of policies from Sahara Life to SBI Life and management of policyholders' assets. Q63. Which country has won the bid to host the 2025 World Conservation Congress WCC? ANS. United Arab Emirates, UAE. Q64. Who has been appointed as the head of the Commission of Inquiry to probe the Manipur violence? ANS. Ajay Lamba. Q65. How are NPAs assessed in banks? ANS. By assessing the borrower's creditworthiness. Q66. The World Conservation Congress, WCC, is organized by ANS. International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN. Q67. When did the Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India appoint an administrator to manage Sahara India Life Insurance Co.'s business? ANS. 2017. Q68. The IUCN Red List of Threatened Species is. ANS. A list of endangered animal species. Q69. The Maharashtra government has recently. Announced the renaming of Ahmednagar district to Ahilyadevi Nagar in honor of the 18th century warrior Queen Ahilyadevi Holkar. Which community in Maharashtra is considered the second largest caste cluster? ANS. Dongar. Q70. Which ministry is responsible for the implementation of Mission Vatsalya? ANS. Ministry of Women and Child Development. Q71. In which century did Ahilyadevi Holkar live? ANS. 18th century. Q72. What is the motto of Mission Vatsalya? ANS. Leave no child behind. Q73. Where is the headquarters of the National Institute of Public Cooperation and Child Development, NIPCCD, located? ANS. New Delhi. Q74. Who has been elected as the 78th President of the United Nations General Assembly? ANS. Dennis Francis. Q75. The International Day of Innocent Children Victims of Aggression is observed every year on. ANS. June 4. Q76. Kavak is an indigenous developed by the Ministry of Railways in India. ANS. Automatic Train Protection System. Q77. What factors are considered when calculating green GDP? ANS. Environmental degradation and pollution. Q78. Which river is the Mekadatu project intended to be constructed on? ANS. Kaveri River. Q79. According to the 22nd Law Commission report, what is the recommendation regarding Section 124A of the IPC Sedition Law? ANS. Amending Section 124A with procedural safeguards. Q80. Which two states have been involved in disputes over the Mekadatu project? ANS. Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. Q81. What is the punishment for the offense of sedition under Section 124A of the IPC? ANS. Imprisonment up to three years or life term. Q82. How does India incorporate green GDP into its economic planning? ANS. By promoting renewable energy deployment and clean technologies. Q83. Which scheme launched by PM Modi focuses on the conservation of existing Ramsar sites in India? ANS. Amrit Darohar Yojana. Q84. Under the Mishti scheme, how many states and union territories will witness the development of mangrove cover? ANS. 11 states and 2 union territories. Q85. How much has the Indian Railways spent on safety measures between 2017-2018 and 2021-2022? ANS. 1 lakh rupees crore. Q86. Which authority has the final decision-making power regarding the implementation of the Mekadatu project? ANS. Central Government. Q87. What percentage of the project cost will be covered by the central government under the Amrit Darohar and Mishti schemes? ANS. 80%. Q88. 
What is the name of the financial inclusion dashboard recently launched by RBI? ANS. Antardrishti. Q89. Which area in India, apart from the Sundarbans, has substantial mangrove cover? ANS. Gujarat Kach and Jamnagar. Q90. Where was the third edition of the Kilo India University Games concluded? ANS. IIT BHU, Varanasi. Q91. The destruction of the Nova Kakovka Dam is a significant blow to Ukraine, affecting the region's stability, energy supply, and agriculture. Where is the Nova Kakovka Dam located? ANS. Dnipro River. Q92. What is the revised GDP growth forecast for India in FY24, according to the World Bank's latest report? ANS. 6.3%. Q93. Bank of Baroda introduces UPI cash withdrawal facility at ATMs. Which statement is true about Bank of Baroda's UPI cash withdrawal facility? ANS. It can be used with any UPI-enabled app. Q94. Who signed the outline deal to build a lithium-ion cell factory in Gujarat, India, as of June 2023? ANS. Tata Group. Q95. What is the projected global GDP growth for 2023, according to the World Bank's latest report? ANS. 2.1%. Q96. What does Gagun stand for in the context of performance-based navigation? ANS. GPS-aided geo-augmented navigation. Q97. Union Minister of Ports, Shipping, and Waterways, Sarbananda Sonawal has flagged off the maiden international cruise vessel, MV Empress. Which ports? Does the MV Empress cruise vessel connect to? ANS. Chennai, Trincomalee, Hambantota, Jaffna. Q98. Cyclone Biparjoy is a low-pressure area that is currently forming over the Southeast Arabian Sea. It is expected to intensify into a depression in the next 48 hours and may reach cyclonic storm intensity in the subsequent 72 hours. The track of the cyclone is not yet clear, but it is likely to move towards the west coast of India. Which states in India are likely to experience the heaviest rainfall due to cyclone Biparjoy? ANS, Gujarat, Maharashtra, and Karnataka. Q99. Which organizations collaborated to develop Gagun satellite technology? ANS, Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, and Airports Authority of India, AAI. Q100. What does the name Biparjoy mean in Bengali? ANS, Disaster. Q101. Who became the first Indian to receive Suriname's highest civilian award? the Grand Order of the Chain of the Yellow Star. ANS. President Drupadi Murmu. Q102. URDA is making efforts to enhance insurance awareness and penetration, and their plan is gaining momentum through the issuance of draft guidelines for Bhima Vahak. Which is true about the Bhima Vahak scheme. ANS. It aims to enhance insurance accessibility and availability in rural areas. Q103. Which AIIMS institution in India became the first to receive NABH accreditation? ANS. AIIMS Nagpur. Q104. World Food Safety Day is celebrated on June 7 annually across the globe to highlight the importance of maintaining food standards. The day was aimed at inspiring the UN member nations to prioritize food safety standards and work collaboratively to protect consumers from foodborne diseases. What is the theme of World Food Safety Day 2023? ANS. Food standards save lives. Q105. Germany, the fourth largest economy in the world, is currently facing a recession due to a decline in the euro and an unexpected contraction in the economy during the first three months of 2023. What is the definition of a recession? ANS. Two consecutive quarters of economic contraction. Q106. During the inaugural meeting of the India-US Strategic Trade Dialogue, IUSSTF, held in Washington, D.C., the two nations agreed to establish a monitoring group to review and monitor the progress of their collaborative efforts. What is the purpose of the monitoring group established by India and the U.S.? 
ANS, to review progress in high-tech trade between the two nations. Q107. The Reserve Bank of India, RBI, has recently updated its alert list to caution the public about unauthorized forex trading platforms. How many new entities were added to the RBI's alert list in the recent update? ANS. 8. Q108. Which regulatory body in India is responsible for enforcing Foreign Exchange Management Act FEMA? ANS. Reserve Bank of India, RBI. Q109. Which brand has retained the title of India's most valuable brand according to the Brand Finance Report 2023? ANS. Tata Group. Q110. Which is a component of the PM Kusum scheme? ANS. Setting up of small solar power plants. Q111. What is the repo rate announced by the RBI in the June 2023 monetary policy meeting? ANS. 6.5%. Q112. What is the projected CPI inflation for the fiscal year 2024, as estimated by the RBI in its recent monetary policy? ANS. 5.1%. Q113. What is the projected GDP growth rate for India in the fiscal year 2023-24, according to the RBI in its recent monetary policy? ANS. 6.5%. Q114. How does the PM Kusum scheme aim to finance solar projects on agricultural land? ANS. By linking the scheme to the Agriculture Infrastructure Fund. Q115. How much is the net FPI inflow in the fiscal year 2023-2024 until June 6, according to the RBI? ANS. $8.4 billion. Q116. What new authorization has been given by the RBI in its recent monetary policy regarding Forex cards? ANS. Authorization to issue rupee prepaid Forex cards. Q117. Who is the current chairperson of the Competition Commission of India CCI? ANS. Ravneet Kaur. Q118. How many members, including the chairperson, are there in the Competition Commission of India CCI? ANS. 7. Q119. Which pension scheme is administered by PFRDA? ANS. NPS, National Pension Scheme, and Adil Pension Yojana. Q120. Who has been appointed as the chairman of the board of NPS Trust? ANS. Sri Siraj Bhan. Q-121. What is the name of the new generation ballistic missile successfully flight tested by India? ANS. Agni Prime. Q-122. What is the main objective of the I am Ajar, Ajar is me, campaign launched by the Federal Bank in Chennai? ANS. To celebrate the local culture and stories. Q-123. What is the main factor that contributed to the Eurozone's recession in early 2023? ANS. Inflation and high interest rates. Q124. How many consecutive quarters of GDP contraction define a technical recession? ANS. Two quarters. Q125. What is the primary objective of the PM Kusum scheme? ANS. All of the above. Q126. Who is receiving the Michel Battis Award for Biosphere Reserve Management? ANS. Jagdish S. Bakken. Q127. NTPC Kanti, as part of its CSR initiative, has launched the Girl Empowerment Mission, GEM, minus 2023, a four-week residential workshop program aimed at empowering 40 underprivileged rural girls from the Kanti block, which is not a component of the GEM 2023 program. ANS. Financial Literacy. Q128. Which ministry does the Commission of Railway Safety, CRS, come under? ANS. Ministry of Civil Aviation. Q129. Which ecosystem is not found in the Gulf of Manar Marine National Park? ANS. Rainforest. Q130. What is the jurisdiction of the Commission of Railway Safety, CRS? ANS. All of the above. Q131. 
According to the RBI's annual report 2022-23, what was the projected real GDP growth for FY24? ANS. 6.5%. Q132. According to the RBI's annual report 2022-23, what is the current gross non-performing assets NPA ratio as a share of total advances? ANS. 5.8%. Q133. According to the RBI's annual report 2022-23, how did the total foreign direct investment FDI received by India in FY23 compare to the previous fiscal year? ANS. Decreased by 26%. Q134. June 9, 2023 marks World Accreditation Day hash WAD 2023. The theme for WAD 2023 is accreditation, supporting the future of global trade. Who established World Accreditation Day? ANS, International Laboratory Accreditation Cooperation, ILAC. Q135. According to the RBI's annual report 2022-23, which country was the largest contributor to foreign direct investment, FDI, in India in FY23? ANS, Singapore. Q136. The Reserve Bank of India, RBI, has taken a significant step to enhance the trade receivables discounting system, TREDS, by allowing insurance companies to participate as stakeholders. Under the expanded TREDS guidelines, who can participate as financiers? ANS. Entities permitted under the Factoring Regulation Act, PRA, and its rules. Q137. What company has recently received regulatory approval from URTA to enter the life insurance business in India? ANS. Go Digit Life Insurance Limited. Q138. The underscore has recently unveiled a groundbreaking strategic pact known as the Atlantic Declaration. This agreement reaffirms their long-standing, special relationship, and outlines a joint effort to tackle challenges posed by Russia, China, and economic instability. ANS. United States and United Kingdom. Q139. What is the primary purpose of TREDS platforms? ANS. Enhancing cash flows for MSMEs. Q140. How many insurers are currently operating in the Indian life insurance segment following the approval of GoDigit Life Insurance? ANS. 26. Q141. Which states will witness the expansion of Airjaldi networks under the Contentful Connectivity Program? ANS, Telangana, Chhattisgarh, and Odisha. Q142. As the world enters an El Nino phase, countries are bracing themselves for extreme weather events. What is El Nino? ANS, a climate pattern characterized by warmer waters in the eastern Pacific. Q143. What was the outcome of the RBI monetary policy meeting held in June 2023? ANS. The repo rate remained unchanged at 6.5%. Q144. Which naval exercise is conducted between the Indian Navy and the UAE Navy? ANS. Gulf Star. Q145. Which endangered marine mammal is the main attraction of the Gulf of Manar Marine National Park? ANS. Dugong. Q146. What action did the RBI take to address the surplus liquidity situation? ANS. Conducted variable rate reverse repo, BRR, auctions. Q147. How did Cyclone Biparjoy get its name? ANS. Bangladesh named it, following the WMO's naming protocol. Q148. India's internet economy is projected to reach underscore by 2030, showing substantial growth from $175 billion in 2022, as per a joint report by Google, Temasek, and Bain and & Company. ANS. $1 trillion. Q149. Which is not a characteristic of a tropical cyclone. ANS. Cumulus clouds. Q150. According to Mercer's Cost of Living Survey, which city in India is identified as the most expensive for expatriates? ANS. Mumbai. 
Q151. India and Serbia have set an ambitious target of achieving a bilateral trade volume of 1 billion euros by the end of the decade. President Drupadi Murmu of India and her Serbian counterpart, have expressed their commitment to strengthen bilateral relations and explore new areas of cooperation. ANS. Aleksandr Vucic. Q152. What is one of the key measures announced by the RBI to strengthen urban cooperative banks? ANS. Allowing them to open new branches. Q153. What is the primary objective of the NBFC Growth Accelerator Program, NGAP, launched by Game and Sidby? ANS. To address funding challenges faced by MSMEs. Q154. Which sectors are included in the priority sector lending targets for urban cooperative banks? ANS. All of the above. Q155. Which sector of MSMEs will primarily benefit from the NBFC Growth Accelerator Program, NGAP? ANS. Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities. Q156. What is the name of the world's most powerful hypersonic wind tunnel recently completed in China? ANS. JF-22. Q-157. What is the primary objective of the, exploration of coal and lignite scheme? ANS. Assessing the presence, quantity, and quality of coal and lignite resources. Q-158. What is the definition of hypersonic speed? ANS. Speed greater than Mach 5. Q-159. How much funding has been allocated for detailed drilling in non-coal India Limited CIL, areas under the exploration of coal and lignite scheme? ANS. 1,330 crore rupees. Q160. The U.S. Geological Survey, USGS, has downgraded the safety alert for the Kilauea volcano, following a new eruption. Where is the Kilauea volcano located? ANS. Big Island. Q161. Who launched the Sagar Samriti online dredging monitoring system? ANS. Minister of Ports, Shipping and Waterways. Q162. How are the geological reports generated through the explorations utilized under the exploration of coal and lignite scheme? ANS. They aid in the auctioning of new coal blocks. Q163. How many Grand Slam titles has Novak Djokovic won after the French Open 2023 victory? ANS. 23. Q164. World Day Against Child Labor, observed on June 12, aims to inspire a global movement against child labor. The International Labor Organization initiated this event in 2002, turning it into an international occasion. What is the theme for World Day Against Child Labor 2023? ANS. Social Justice for All. End Child Labor. Q165. Australia won the World Test Championship 2021-23. Who was awarded the player of the match in the World Test Championship final? ANS. Travis. Head. Q166. Which edition of the Indo-Maldives Joint Military Exercise, ex is currently taking place? ANS. 12th edition. Q167. What percentage of the world's real-time payments did India account for in 2022? ANS. 46%. Q168. The Ministry of Information and Broadcasting in India has taken action against websites and YouTube-based news channels in response to content deemed anti-India. Which act empowers the government to issue directives for blocking such content? ANS. Information Technology, IT, Act. Q169. India has emerged as the global leader in digital payments for the year 2022, surpassing other nations in terms of both value and volume of transactions. Which country secured the second position in digital payments? ANS. Brazil. Q170. What is the main objective of the project between the Government of India and the Asian Development Bank, ADB, in Himachal Pradesh? ANS. Enhancing farmers' income and resilience to climate change. 
Q171. According to Moody, what is the projected GDP growth rate for India in the June quarter? ANS. 6 to 6.3 percent. Q172. What is India's general government debt as a percentage of GDP for the fiscal year 2022-23, according to Moody's? ANS. 81.8 percent. Q173. Which global rating agencies have assigned India the lowest investment grade rating with a stable outlook? ANS. Moody's and Fitch. Q174. Former Italian Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi dies at 86. How many times did Silvio Berlusconi serve as the Prime Minister of Italy? ANS. Three times. Q175. International Albinism Awareness Day is observed annually on 13 June. What is the theme for International Albinism Awareness Day 2023? ANS. Inclusion is strength. Q176. Which region has a higher prevalence of albinism? ANS. Sub-Saharan Africa. Q177. Which law empowers the Indian government to declare banknotes as ceasing to be legal tender during demonetization? ANS. Reserve Bank of India RBI Act, 1934. Q178. What is the deadline for depositing? 2,000 notes in banks. ANS. September 30, 2023. Q179. Which organization will be responsible for executing the NBFC Growth Accelerator Program, NGAP? ANS. GAIN. Q180. How many aircraft carriers were involved in the twin CBG operation carried out by the Indian Navy? ANS. 2. Q181. What is the sovereign credit rating assigned to India by Moody's? ANS. BA 3. Q182. What is the target set by India and the UAE to increase non-oil bilateral trade by 2030? ANS. 100 billion United States dollars. Q183. According to SIPRI's annual yearbook, China's nuclear arsenal increased from 350 warheads in January 2022 to underscore underscore warheads in January 2024. ANS. 410. Q184. When was the Joint Committee of India-UAE Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement, CEPA, implemented? ANS. May 1, 2021. Q185. In SIPRI's yearbook 2023, it was observed that India's nuclear arsenal grew from 160 warheads in 2022 to 2023. ANS. 164. Q186. Which city in northeast India recently became the location of a sub-office of the Reserve Bank of India, RBI? ANS. Kohima. Q187. The Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, SIPRI, was established in ANS. 1966. Q188. Under which section of the Reserve Bank of India Act, 1934, did the RBI cancel Equitas Holdings registration? ANS. Section 45IA, 6. Q189. Which ministry implemented the cluster-based training of trainers, taught project under the Sankalp program? ANS. Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship, MSDE. Q190. According to the Community Spirit Index, which two cities are named the world's top friendliest cities? ANS. Toronto and Sydney. Q191. Which organizations collaborated with the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship for the cluster-based TOT project? ANS. All of the above. Q192. According to the Community Spirit Index, which city has the highest score for? Friendly staff, among the least friendly cities. ANS. Mumbai. Q193. Which ministry is responsible for the implementation of the Pradhan Mantri Matru Vandana Yojana PMMVY? ANS. Ministry of Women and Child Development. Q194. 
the fourth ship of the survey vessel's large SVL project, named Sanshodik, meaning researcher, was launched at Katupali, Chennai by L and T G R S E for the Indian Navy. Who built the Sanshodik warship for the Indian Navy? Ans. Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers, GRSE Kolkata. Q195. Amit Shah announced three major schemes to improve disaster management efforts across the country. What is the estimated value of the three major schemes announced by Amit Shah? Ans. 8,000 crore rupees. Q196. World Blood Donor Day is observed annually on June. 14. The slogan or theme of World Blood Donor Day 2023 is, Give Blood, Give Plasma, Share Life, Share Often. Which country is the host for World Blood Donor Day 2023? ANS. Algeria. Q197. How much cash transfer is provided to eligible women under the Pradhan Mantri Matru Vandana Yojana PMMVY? ANS. 5,000 rupees in three installments. Q198. Which annual report provides findings on global nuclear arsenals and arms control? ANS. SIPRI Yearbook. Q199. What is the purpose of the collaboration between Fino Payments Bank and Hubble? ANS. To introduce India's first spending account. Q200. Which agency of the Ministry of Defense signed the Memorandum of Understanding with Kotak Mahindra Life Insurance? ANS. Directorate General of Resettlement, DGR. Q201. What is the purpose of the partnership between Indian Oil Corp., IOC, and Lanzajet? ANS. To reduce carbon emissions in the aviation industry. Q202. What is the minimum investment limit for the Sovereign Gold Bond Scheme 2023-24? ANS. 1 gram. Q203. Can Sovereign Gold Bonds be used as collateral for loans? ANS. Yes, by any eligible entity. Q204. The first quarter GDP in New Zealand fell by 0.1%, indicating a decline in economic growth during that period. Which natural disasters affected New Zealand's economy in the first quarter of 2023? ANS. Cyclone Gabrielle and Auckland flash floods. Q205. How is the issue price of sovereign gold bonds determined? ANS. Based on the average price of gold for the last three working days preceding the subscription period. Q206. What was the retail inflation rate in India in May 2023? ANS. 4.25%. Q207. Which index measures the overall prices of goods before they are sold at retail prices? ANS. Wholesale Price Index, WPI. Q208. When was the Iran Nuclear Agreement, also known as the JCPOA, established? ANS. 2015. Q209. Shaktikanta Das, the Governor of the Reserve Bank of India, RBI, was honored with the esteemed Governor of the Year Award for 2023. Which organization presented the Governor of the Year Award to Shaktikanta Das? ANS. Central Banking. Q210. According to the latest data, what is the RBI's projection for inflation in fiscal year 2023-24? ANS. 5.2%. Q211. According to the RBI remittance survey, the country with the highest share in inward remittances to India in 2020-21 was. ANS. United States. Q212. The Indian rupee symbol, rupee, was officially adopted in. Underscore to represent the currency of India. ANS. 2010. Q213. In anticipation of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's upcoming visit to the United States, the Defense Ministry of India has granted approval for the acquisition of Predator MQ-9 Reaper drones from America. Which branch of the Indian Armed Forces will receive the highest number of Sea Guardian drones? ANS. Indian Navy. Q214. Where will the Asia Cup 2023 be held in a hybrid model? ANS. Pakistan and Sri Lanka. Q215. In India, 
who will have the final decision-making authority on the procurement of the Predator Drones. ANS. Cabinet Committee on Security, CCS. Q216. Which variant of the MQ-9 drone has been chosen by India for acquisition? ANS. Sky Guardian. Q217. Who recently announced their retirement from international cricket, as of June 2023. ANS. Nahida Khan. Q218. What is the objective of the Katru project developed by IIT Madras researchers? ANS. To obtain a pan-India hyperlocal air quality map. Q219. What technology is used in the mobile air pollution monitoring framework developed by researchers at IIT Madras? ANS. Internet of Things, IOT. Q220. What is the collaboration between Ring and NPCI focused on? ANS. Offering an all-in-one payment and credit solution. Q221. Who is the chief of corporate and fintech relationships and key initiatives at NPCI? ANS. Nalan Bansal. Q222. The International Day of Family Remittances is observed on 16 June each year. The theme of International Day of Family Remittances 2023 is underscore. ANS. Digital Remittances Towards Financial Inclusion and Cost Reduction. Q223. Which state in India receives the highest amount of remittances from abroad? ANS. Kerala. Q224. The Reserve Bank of India, RBI, has introduced the Liberalized Remittance Scheme, LRS, to facilitate. ANS. Outward Remittances. Q225. Which teams are confirmed to participate in the Asia Cup 2023? ANS. India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Afghanistan, and Nepal. Q226. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's upcoming visit to the United States from June 21 to June 24 is one of the most important diplomatic visits of 2023, highlighting the significance of India's geopolitical role. During his visit, PM Modi will address a joint session of the U.S. Congress for the time. ANS. Second. Q227. What was the estimated value of India's overall exports, merchandise and services combined, in May 2023? ANS. United States dollars and 29 cents billion. Q228. Which agricultural product showed the highest growth in exports during April-May 2023 compared to April-May 2022? ANS. Spices. Q229. What was the overall trade deficit in April-May 2023? ANS. $13.28 billion. Q230. Which two organizations have joined hands to accelerate sustainable development in India? ANS. United Nations and Niti Aayog. Q231. What was the dividend amount presented by the State Bank of India, SBI, to the Finance Minister for the financial year 2022-23? ANS. 5,740 crore rupees. Q232. What is the name of the scheme introduced by Indian Overseas Bank, IOB, that allows customers to choose any name as their savings account number? ANS. My account my name. Q233. What was SBI's net profit for the full financial year 2022-23? ANS. 50,232.45 ANS. 50,232.45 crore rupees. Q234. Which city is Indian Overseas Bank, IOB, headquartered in? ANS. Chennai. Q235. Who introduced the, why break, yoga at office chair, protocol? ANS. Ministry of AYUSH. Q236. Which institute collaborated with the Ministry of AYUSH to develop the, why break, yoga at office chair, protocol? ANS. Morarji Desai National Institute of Yoga. Q237. When is Father's Day celebrated in many countries, including the United States, Canada, and the United Kingdom? ANS. 3rd Sunday of June. Q238. 
who flagged off the 5,000 km motorcycle expedition as part of the Julie Ladakh outreach program. ANS, Vice Admiral Sanjay Jazjit Singh. Q239. The World Day to Combat Desertification and Drought is an annual observance held on June 17. What is the theme of the World Day to Combat Desertification and Drought for this year? ANS. Her Land. Her Rights. Q240. According to the RBI Remittance Survey, the country with the highest share in inward remittances to India in 2020-21 was ANS. United States. Q241. What is the primary objective of the expert committee formed to reform the Arbitration and Conciliation Act, of 1996? ANS. All of the above. Q242. Who is Kamala Sohoni? ANS. The first Indian woman to earn a PhD in a scientific discipline. Q243. Which state topped the best state category at the National Water Awards 2022? ANS. Madhya Pradesh. Q244. Which district received the best district award at the National Water Awards 2022? ANS. Ganjam District, Odisha. Q245. Who is leading the expert committee formed to suggest reforms to the Arbitration and Conciliation Act, of 1996? ANS. T. K. Vishwanathan. Q246. Which village panchayat received the best village panchayat award at the National Water Awards? ANS. Jaganadapuram Village Panchayat, Telangana. Q247. What is the purpose of the World Bank's $150 million loan for the Resilient Kerala program? ANS. To address coastal erosion and shoreline changes. Q248. Who is the World Bank's country director for India? ANS. Auguste Tano Koame. Q249. Who will be conferred with the Gandhi Peace Prize for 2021? ANS. Gita Press. Q250. Sustainable Gastronomy Day is celebrated on June 18 every year. What is the theme for Sustainable Gastronomy Day 2023? ANS. Local Flavors, Preserving Global Heritage. Q251. When is the International Day for Countering Hate Speech observed? ANS. June 18. Q252. What is the issue price of the Sovereign Gold Bonds 2023-24, Series 1? ANS. 5,926 rupees per gram. Q253. What is the investment tenure of the Sovereign Gold Bonds scheme? ANS. 8 years. Q254. India lifted the Intercontinental Cup as it tamed a young Lebanon side by two second-half goals. Which stadium hosted the Intercontinental Cup final between India and Lebanon? ANS. Kalinga Stadium. Q255. Which media organization received the second best award in the media category at the National Water Awards? ANS. Akashvani, Guwahati. Q256. Indigo's recent order of 500 Airbus A320 family aircraft is. ANS. The largest ever single aircraft purchased by any airline with Airbus. Q257. Which states will continue to receive rice under the OMSS despite the discontinuation of sales to state governments? ANS. Northeastern states. Q258. What is the primary reason behind the center's decision to discontinue the sale of rice and wheat under the OMSS to state governments? ANS. To control rising prices and curb inflationary trends. Q259. What is the projected consumer price index CPI, inflation for the fiscal year 2024 according to the RBI? ANS. 5.1%. Q260. Which entity was penalized by SEBI for violating mutual fund regulations? ANS. Oryx Corporation. Q261. What is another name for the Jagannath Puri Rath Yatra? ANS. Gundacha Yatra. Q262. How long do Lord Jagannath, 
Lord Balabhadra, and Devi Subhadra stay at the Gundacha temple during the Rathyatra. Ans. 8 days. Q263. Apart from Bangladesh, which other countries have also dropped their fixed exchange rates this year? Ans. Pakistan, Egypt, and Lebanon. Q264. What was the reason behind Moody's downgrade of Bangladesh's ratings? Ans. High inflation and weak economic performance. Q265. Which international lender demanded Bangladesh to float its currency in exchange for more funds? ANS. International Monetary Fund, IMF. Q266. Which is a characteristic of a managed currency? ANS. Setting a target range for the exchange rate. Q267. What is a free and floating currency? ANS. A currency whose value is determined by market forces. Q268. Which currency regime aims to stabilize import prices? ANS. Controlled currency. Q269. What is the total number of new employees added under the ESI scheme in April 2023? ANS. 17.88 lakhs. Q270. What does the gender-wise analysis of the payroll data reveal about female employee enrollment in April 2023? ANS. Increase in female enrollment. Q271. Which company claimed the title of the most valuable private sector company in India according to Her in India's 2022 Burgundy Private Her in India 500 feet list? ANS. Reliance Industries. Limited. Q272. Which country holds the largest share of Pakistan's foreign debt? ANS. China. Q273. Who led the historic yoga session at the United Nations headquarters to commemorate the 9th International Day of Yoga? ANS. Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Q274. What is the primary factor that determines the length of daylight on the longest day of the year? ANS. Tilt of Earth's axis. Q275. Which astronomical event marks the changing seasons and influences the length of daylight? ANS. Equinox. Q276. Which company experienced the highest percentage growth in terms of valuation? ANS. Jindal Stainless. Q277. What was the theme highlighted by Prime Minister Modi on International Yoga Day? ANS. Basudiva Kutumbakam. Q278. How does an observer's latitude affect the length of the day during the summer solstice? ANS. Higher latitude leads to a longer day. Q279. What did Amit Shah inaugurate in Ahmedabad, as of June 2023? ANS. All of the above. Q280. World Sickle Cell Awareness Day is observed annually on June 19. What is the shape of the red blood cells in individuals with sickle cell disease? ANS. Crescent or sickle. Q281. Who has been appointed as the Deputy Governor of the Reserve Bank of India, RBI? ANS. Swami Nathan Janakiraman. Q282. World Music Day is celebrated annually on June 21st Street. What is the theme of World Music Day 2022? ANS. Music on the Intersections. Q283. Who has been awarded the Peace Prize of the German Book Trade for 2023? ANS. Salman Rushdie. Q284. What is the name of the multinational peacekeeping joint exercise taking place in Mongolia? ANS. Ex-Con Quest 2023. Q285. World Refugee Day is observed annually on June 20. What is the theme of World Refugee Day 2023? ANS. Hope Away From Home. Q286. Pakistan has constituted a negotiation committee to finalize a deal for the handover of its Karachi port terminals as part of its efforts to raise emergency funds. Which country has shown interest in acquiring Karachi port terminals? ANS. United Arab Emirates. Q287. According to the Randstad Employer Brand Research, REBR, 2023, 
which company emerged as India's most attractive employer brand. ANS. Tata Power. Q288. What are the three most important drivers for the Indian workforce when choosing an employer, as per the REBR 2023? ANS. Work-life balance, good reputation, and attractive salary. Q289. What is the objective of the Prime Minister's Employment Generation Program, PMEGP? ANS. To facilitate the establishment of micro-enterprises. Q290. Which agency serves as the national-level nodal agency for implementing PMEGP? ANS. Kadi and Village Industries Commission, KVIC. Q291. Which sectors will receive special focus for empowering women entrepreneurs through the UNDP and Dainalm Partnership? ANS. Care Economy, Digital Economy, Electric Mobility, Waste Management, and Food Packaging. Q292. What will be the duration of the project under the UNDP and Dainalm Partnership? ANS. Three years. Q293. Who are the special category applicants eligible for a higher subsidy under PMEGP? ANS. Applicants from aspirational districts and transgender individuals. Q294. China has once again blocked a proposal put forward by India and the United States at the United Nations Security Council to designate Sajid Mir as a global terrorist. Which terrorist organization is Sajid Mir associated with? ANS. Lashka e Taiba Let. Q295. When is United Nations Public Service Day celebrated? ANS. June 23. Q296. Which segment of the population is targeted by the Union Unati account introduced by the Union Bank of India? ANS. Women entrepreneurs and professionals. Q297. Where did CA? Bhavani Devi secured India's first ever medal at the Asian Fencing Championships. ANS. Wuxi, China. Q298. Each year on June 21, the International Day of Celebration for the Solstice is observed. How many solstices occur in a year? ANS. 2. Q299. Which country recently became the first Central European nation to legalize same-sex marriage? ANS. Estonia. Q300. What is the primary cause of sickle cell disease? ANS. Genetic mutation. Q301. Which sector showed the highest growth in merchandise exports in May 2023 compared to May 2022? ANS. Electronic goods. Q302. What is Fitch's revised GDP forecast for India for the financial year 2023-24? ANS. 6.3%. Q303. What is the main objective of the Memorandum of Understanding, MO, signed between GE Aerospace and HAL? ANS. To produce fighter jet engines for the Indian Air Force, IAF. Q304. What milestone did the UK's public sector net debt reach in May 2023? ANS. 100% of GDP. Q305. How might the high debt and inflation impact government spending? ANS. Increased debt interest payments. Q306. What is India's rank in the Global Gender Gap Index for 2023? ANS. 127. Q307. In which dimension does India lag behind in the Global Gender Gap Index? ANS. Economic Participation and Opportunity. Q308. Which country holds the top position for gender equality in the world? ANS. Iceland. Q309. Which is the primary goal of the Artemis Accords? ANS. Promoting international cooperation in lunar missions. Q310. In addition to signing the Artemis Accords, what other collaboration has been agreed upon between NASA and ISRO? ANS. Joint mission to the International Space Station in 2024. Q311. How does India's projected GDP growth rate for FY24 compare to the previous fiscal year, FY23? ANS. Lower. 
Q312. Lloyd's Banking Group is setting up a technology center in which city? Ans. Hyderabad. Q313. Which U.S. chipmaker has received approval from the Indian cabinet to set up a semiconductor testing and packaging unit in Gujarat? ANS. Micron Technology. Q314. Who has been appointed as the president of the BRICS Chamber of Commerce and Industry Women's Vertical BRICS CCI We. ANS. Ruby Sinha. Q315. International Widows' Day is observed on June 23 each year. What is the theme for International Widows' Day 2023? ANS. Innovation and Technology for Gender Equality. Q316. Which two organizations have formed a partnership to develop an indigenous air independent propulsion AIP, system for submarines in the Indian Navy? ANS. Larson and Tubro, L&T, and Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO. Q317. On June 21, 2023, the Indian Naval Hydrographic Department celebrated World Hydrography Day, WHD. What is the theme for World Hydrography Day 2023? ANS. Hydrography, underpinning the digital twin of the ocean. Q318. What title did NTPC receive from Team Marksman? ANS. Most Preferred Workplace of 2023-24. Q319. Which organization partnered with Paytm Payment Services Limited for the creation of a startup ecosystem in Arunachal Pradesh? ANS. Arunachal Pradesh Innovation and Investment Park, APIIP. Q320. What was the specific violation that led to the penalty on the Bank of Maharashtra? ANS. Non-compliance with end-to-end encryption requirements for ATMs. Q321. What is the value of the deal won by TCS to digitally transform the UK's National Employment Savings Trust, NEST? ANS. $1.9 billion. Q322. According to the Global Livability Index 2023 report, which city has been ranked as the most livable city globally? ANS. Vienna. Q323. Which region has shown notable progress in this year's Global Livability Rankings, according to the report? ANS. Asia Pacific. Q324. What is the significance of the Meta Rail Coach Factory in Hyderabad? ANS. It is the largest private coach factory in India. Q325. Which organization approved and implemented World Hydrography Day as an annual celebration? ANS. International Hydrographic Organization. IHO. Q326. How will the Indigenous Air Independent Propulsion, AIP, system benefit the endurance of conventional submarines? ANS by significantly improving their operational range. Q327. The International Day of Women in Diplomacy is observed annually on June 24. What is the theme for the International Day of Women in Diplomacy 2023 Inaugural Forum? ANS. Breaking Barriers, Shaping the Future, Women in Diplomacy for Sustainable Development. Q328. World Olympic Day is observed globally on June 23. The theme of Olympic Day 2023 is, Let's Move, which aims to inspire people around the world to make time for daily physical activity. Where is the headquarters of the International Olympic Committee located? ANS. Lausanne, Switzerland. Q329. What is the name of the collaborative platform launched between India and the United States in the defense sector? ANS. Indus X. Q330. The Competition Commission of India, CCI, was founded in 2003 under the provisions of the Competition Act, of 2002. Which ministry does the CCI come under? ANS. Ministry of Corporate Affairs. Q331. Which Muslim community is closely associated with the Al-Hakim Mosque? ANS. Dawoodi Bora Muslims. Q332. Where was the 1,000-year-old, Dwarapala, sculpture discovered? ANS. 
Siddipet, Telangana. Q333. What is the purpose of the 255.5 million United States dollars loan granted by the World Bank to India? ANS. Improving Technical Education. Q334. According to the Global Startup Ecosystem Report 2023, which city holds the top position in the Global Startup Ecosystem Rankings? ANS. Silicon Valley. Q335. Which city secured the 20th position in the Global Startup Ecosystem Report 2023, GSER 2023? ANS. Bengaluru. Q336. Which country secured the top position in the 2023 Global Competitiveness Index? ANS. Denmark. Q337. Which area of improvement contributed to India's competitive score in the Global Competitiveness Index? ANS. Exchange Rate Stability. Q338. Which Indian state is considered the base of the Dawoodi Bora community? ANS. Gujarat. Q339. Which country ranked last in the 2023 Global Competitiveness Index? ANS. Venezuela. Q340. What is the name of the mRNA COVID-19 booster vaccine developed by Geneva Biopharmaceuticals? ANS. GEMCOVACOM. Q341. Who is the Minister of Science and Technology responsible for the Department of Biotechnology in India? ANS. Jitendra Singh. Q342. When is the United Nations International Day in support of victims of torture observed? ANS. June 26. Q343. What is the highest state honor of Egypt that was bestowed upon Prime Minister Narendra Modi during his visit? ANS. Order of the Nile. Q344. How many international awards has Prime Minister Narendra Modi received since 2014? ANS. 13. Q345. The International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking is observed on June 26 each year. What is the theme of World Drug Day in 2023? ANS. People First. Stop Stigma and Discrimination, Strengthen Prevention. Q346. What is the purpose of the Nandi portal launched by the Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry, and Dairying? ANS. To streamline the regulatory approval process for veterinary drugs and vaccines. Q347. Which sports event will Indonesia host as announced by FIFA? ANS. U17 World Cup. Q348. International MSME Day is observed every year on 27 June to highlight the significance of MSMEs and their role in the economy. What is the theme of MSME Day 2023 in India? ANS. Future Ready MSMEs for India at 100. Q349. Who has been appointed as the Managing Director and Head of Institutional Banking in India for DBS Bank? ANS. Rajat Verma. Q350. Who has been sworn in as the Prime Minister of Greece for a second term? ANS. Kyriakos Mitsotakis. Q351. What was the theme of the 8th Global Pharmaceutical Quality Summit 2023? ANS. Patient. Centricity. New Paradigm of Manufacturing and Quality. Q352. What is the retained GDP growth projection for India for the fiscal year 2023-2024, according to S&P Global Ratings? ANS. 6%. Q353. Which Indian university secured the highest position in the Asia University Rankings 2023? ANS. Indian Institute of Science IISC. Q354. Which country holds the first position in terms of the number of universities featured in the Asia University Rankings 2023? ANS. Japan. Q355. Which country is expected to be the fastest growing economy among the Asia Pacific nations, according to S&P Global Ratings? ANS. India. Q356. 
Under the Special Assistance to States for Capital Investment 2023-24 FEET scheme, how much capital investment has been approved for 16 states? ANS. 56,415 rupees crore. Q357. How long is the interest-free loan provided to states under the Special Assistance to States for Capital Investment 2023-24 FEET scheme? ANS. 50 years. Q358. Which state has been allocated the highest amount under the Special Assistance to States for Capital Investment 2023-24 FEET scheme? ANS. Bihar. Q359. What is the reward associated with the Gandhi Peace Prize? ANS. All of the above. Q360. What is the projected retail inflation for India in the fiscal year 2023-2024, as per S&P Global Ratings? ANS. 5%. Q361. What is the purpose of the Sagar Samajik Sahayog, CSR guidelines launched by Sri Sarbananda Sanawal? ANS. To empower ports to address local community issues. Q362. How will the CSR budget be allocated for ports based on their net profit? ANS. All of the above. Q363. What is the name of the portal launched by Sri Narayan Rain for MSME support? ANS. Champions 2.0 Portal. Q364. Which app was launched to facilitate the geo-tagging of cluster projects and technology centers? ANS. Geotamsme. Q365. Which regulatory body approved the IPO of Tata Technologies? ANS. SEBI, Securities and Exchange Board of India. Q366. Which university has consistently topped the QS World University rankings for 12 consecutive years? ANS. Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT. Q367. How many Indian universities are included in the QS World University Rankings 2024? ANS. 45. Q368. Which organization collaborated with the Ministry of MSME to establish a Center of Excellence Co. for supporting SC Street Entrepreneurs? ANS. National Small Industries Corporation, NSIC. Q369. Which financial company is planning to raise 1,200 crore rupees through an IPO as of June 2023? ANS. SBFC Finance. Q370. Which university is the only Asian institution to break into the top 10 of the QS World University Rankings 2024? ANS. National University of Singapore, NUS. Q371. In which year did John Bannister Goodenough win the Nobel Prize in Chemistry? ANS. 2019. Q372. For which novel did Priya A.S. receive the Sahitya Akademi Bal Sahitya Paraskar 2023? ANS. Paramazayath Kunjithalukal, The Children Who Never Withered. Q373. What is the Uniform Civil Code, UCC, in India? ANS. A law that codifies personal laws of citizens irrespective of gender, sexual orientation, or religion. Q374. Which committee was created in 1941 to codify Hindu law due to an increase in legislation addressing personal concerns at the end of British rule? ANS. The Rao Committee. Q375. The Indian Air Force recently concluded Exercise Ranvijay a series of integrated war games aimed at enhancing the skills of fighter pilots. Where did Exercise Ranvijay take place? ANS. Prayagraj. Q376. India's higher-than-expected GDP growth in Q4 FY23, along with the upward revision of the FY23 growth forecast to 7.2%, highlights the resilience and promising trajectory of the Indian economy amidst global challenges. Which sectors contributed to the higher-than-expected GDP growth in Q4 FY23? ANS. Manufacturing and. Construction. Q377. 
India's economy showcased remarkable resilience as it recorded a higher than expected growth rate of 6.1% in the fourth quarter Q4 of FY23, surpassing analysts' predictions. Which factor remained the weakest link in India's economic recovery? ANS. Private spending. Q378. According to J.P. Morgan, what is the revised forecast for India's annual growth rate for fiscal year 2024? ANS. 5.5%. Q379. The Ministry of Finance announced that the GST revenue for May 2023 stood at 1.57 lakh rupees crore. What was the percentage increase in GST revenue collection for May 2023 compared to May 2022? ANS. 12%. Q380. Unified Payment Interface, UPI, transactions in India soared to unprecedented levels in May 2023, with a total transaction value of 14.3 trillion rupees and a volume of 9.41 billion. This represents a 2% increase in value and a 6% increase in volume compared to the previous month of April. How did EFS transactions perform in May 2023 compared to April 2023? ANS. Volume increased, value decreased. Q381. Which component of GST recorded the highest collection in May 2023? ANS. IGST. Q382. The 1972 reservation policy in Meghalaya allocated 40% of reserved jobs to the Garo tribe and 40% to the Kasi Jaintia tribes. What percentage of reserved jobs were allocated to the general category candidates under the 1972 reservation policy in Meghalaya? ANS. 15%. Q383. How many consecutive months has the monthly GST mop-up exceeded the 1.4 lakh rupees crore mark? ANS. 14 months. Q384. The Minister for Housing and Urban Affairs, Hardeep Singh Puri, recently praised the Prime Minister Street Vendors Admanurbar Nidhi PM Sanidi scheme on its momentous completion of three years. Who is the technical partner for the implementation of the PM Svanidi scheme? ANS. Small Industries Development Bank of India, SIDBI. Q385. Apart from a global economic slowdown, what other factor did JP? Morgan caution could impact India's economy. ANS. Tighter financial conditions. Q386. What is the interest subsidy provided under the PM Svanidi scheme? ANS. 7% per annum. Q387. Latvian lawmakers picked the country's long-serving and popular foreign minister, a strong backer of Ukraine, as its new head of state in a tight vote. Who has been elected as the new head of state in Latvia? ANS. Edgars Rinkviks. Q388. Who is the new chairman and managing director of Steel Authority of India Limited, SAIL? ANS. Amarendu Prakash. Q389. The City Investments to Innovate, Integrate, and Sustain 2.0 CITIIS 2.0 program has been approved by the Union Cabinet, led by Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi. What is the funding source for CITIIS 2.0? ANS. Loan from the French Development Agency, AFD, and Creditanstalt fur Wiederaufbau KFW. Q390. Telangana Formation Day, observed annually on June 2 since 2014, is a state public holiday in Telangana, India. It marks the commemoration of the formation of the state of Telangana. Since which year has Telangana Formation Day been observed? ANS. 2014.